Okay, in this video I just want to talk a little bit more about the hydrophobic effect and why it's the driving force behind protein folding because I think this is an important concept and you should understand why the proteins fold the way that they do. So what I want to say about this is that when non... So when nonpolar groups cluster together, there is, so there is a decrease in the extent of salvation. or I should say of the salvation layer. So there is a decrease in the extent of the salvation layer because each group, I should say, because each hydrophobic, each hydrophobic group no longer presents its entire surface to the solution. So I just wanted to start out by saying that. I don't know if we can see this, my terrible handwriting. I thought maybe I'd use pencil here to uh, help out. And basically what I said so far is when nonpolar groups cluster together, there is a decrease in the extent of the salvation layer because each hydrophobic group no longer presents its entire surface to the solution. So every time a, prote a protein is in solution, you know, you have, a pro you have some protein in solution, I don't know, I'll just say protein here, and the water molecules form a salvation layer around it. Now, Water can interact favorably with hydrophilic residues, but it cannot interact favorably with hydrophobic residues. And it actually causes the salvation layer to be larger. It requires it to be larger, and um, that actually is not as favorable. So basically, what the folding does by taking the hydrophobic residues that are disrupting this salvation layer and folding them into the center of the protein, it decreases the salvation layer and um, the groups are no, lo no longer present their entire surface to the solution. So this results in a favorable increase in entropy. And, that, and that's the main thing I want to, and that's the main point I want to drive home here is that this results in a favorable increase in entropy. So this results in a favorable increase in entropy. And w what does that mean? Well, that means that there's going to be more disorder. And we know that the second law of thermodynamics states that, you know, if a chemical reaction results in an increase in entropy, that it's, a, it's thermodynamically favorable. So, so that's basically what I'm trying to say here, is that it results in a favorable increase in entropy. And this is the major thermodynamic driving force for protein folding. So this is the major thermodynamic driving force for protein folding. So, so that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to say about this. Um, there's not really much else to say other than the fact that it results in a favorable increase in entropy and this is the major thermodynamic driving force so that's why proteins fold and I think that's important for anybody who's studying biochemistry to understand